boy, the Mormon church is being gaslighty and inconsistent again. Who's surprised? The church recently answered some questions about itself on its website. Do Latter-day Saints believe they can become gods? Latter-day Saints believe that God wants us to become like him, but this teaching is often misrepresented by those who caricature the faith. The Latter-day Saint belief is no different than the biblical teaching, which states, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Through following Christ's teachings, Latter-day Saints believe that all people can become partakers of the divine nature. Okay, so they kind of danced around that without actually saying yes or no, but the vibe is, oh, we don't believe you can become gods. We believe like every other Christian. Now take a look at this one. Do Latter-day Saints believe they will get their own planet? No, this idea is not taught in Latter-day Saint scripture, nor is it a doctrine of the church. This misunderstanding stems from speculative comments unreflective of scriptural doctrine. Mormons believe that we are all sons and daughters of God and that all of us have the potential to grow during and after this life to become like our Heavenly Father. The church does not and has never purported to fully understand the specifics of Christ's statement that, in my Father's house are many mansions. So does the church believe that you can become a God and have your own planet? Basically, no, that's just misunderstandings. Misunderstandings of what? Where did this teaching come from? Because I learned it in church and at seminary. Leave a comment if you did too. This book is called What of the Mormons? It was written by Gordon B. Hinckley, who would go on to become the prophet of the church in 1947. And it was published directly by the church. The church has never purported to fully understand the specifics of Christ's statement, in my father's house are many mansions. In the chapter, What Do They Believe? Jesus stated, in my father's house are many mansions. The glory of God is intelligence. These are Mormon aphorisms. Life is purposeful. It is progressive. It leads to godhood. That seems pretty clear, right? At least at one point, the church was publishing a book that said that if we follow all the commandments, we could reach godhood. But that was in 1947. The church has disavowed that teaching, you may say. All right, let's listen to what current prophet Russell M. Nelson said about it in 2018. He is saying, in essence, if you choose to follow my son, if your desire is really to become more like him, then in time, you may live as we live and preside over worlds and kingdoms as we do. God is saying that one day we could preside over worlds as he does? Isn't a world a planet? Is God's prophet just making speculative comments unreflective of scriptural doctrine? I can't believe that God's only true church on the face of the world is so inconsistent. That's never happened before.